Ora Lima Raza. Welcome back again to the Ora de Roundtable, where I want to view the best of the best. We have the best of the best here today. We got the one and only Mr. David Luna from the nonprofit 36 Chamber, Wushu Kung Fu Foundation, Inc. But before we get into that uh, interview, let's go and break for a commercial. We'll be right back after these awesome messages. Welcome to Dogwood Home Healthcare, LLC. We understand the importance of providing your loved ones with the utmost care and peace of mind right in the comfort of their own home. With our wealth of experience and a compassionate team, we are here to assist you in ensuring your loved ones receive top-notch care at home. Our comprehensive range of services includes bathing, exercise, dressing, grooming, cleaning, laundry, walking, shopping, medication assistance, and so much more. To learn more about our services, please visit our website at www.dogwoodhomehealth.com or feel free to reach out to us directly at 956-580-3957 or 210-265-8911. We proudly serve the communities of San Antonio, Laredo, and the Rio Grande Valley. Your loved one's well-being is our priority and we look forward to assisting you. Hey, have you heard the good news? About what? About Orales San Antonio. It's a brand new online radio station. They advertise and they promote your business 24-7, locally and nationwide on Orales San Antonio. Whether it's advertising, branding, social media, or marketing, start advertising your business today with Orales San Antonio online radio station. Welcome back to another episode of the Order the Roundtable. Like I always say, I want to interview the best of the best. We got the best of the best here today. We got the one and only founder for uh, 36 Chamber, Wushu Kung Fu Foundation, Inc., Mr. David Luna. Mr. David Luna, thank you for coming on board here. Thank you for having me. I always ask this for all my uh, interviews here, my interviewees. Who is David Luna? Explain that to my viewing audiences. Who is David Luna? Exactly. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a proud father of two amazing daughters, and I'm a U.S. Army veteran and a martial arts instructor. Okay, so this nonprofit is, uh, of course, uh, veteran-owned, which is awesome, brother. Yes. My hat's off to you because without your service, we can't do what we can do here in the U.S. So my hat's off to you, and thank you for your service. Thank you for your support. No problem. Let's go and continue. I, I met you online on Facebook. Uh, I've got about 18, 19 accounts, and for some reason, the big guy put us, I guess, together. So that's the reason you're here. I love what you're doing, your nonprofit, which is uh, named 36 Chamber Wushu Kung Fu Foundation, Inc. Before we get into that, um, let's get more into detail. Okay, you're from what area? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. Born okay. Born in Aurora, Illinois. Okay, and what brings you to San Antonio? I got tired of the snow. <laughs> I wanted some more hot. Really, really. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the snow. I've been there maybe one time many years ago, but uh, it was during the summer. It wasn't that much snow. The snow is brutal. Really? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, what what uh, month does it start snowing out there? October. October already? Mm -hmm. So yeah, right now it's snowing right, right over there. Right yes. Oh, my God. So, okay, you got tired of the snow, but you said you were also in the, the Army, correct? Yes. Okay, where were you based when you were in the Army? Uh, I was based in Germany. Germany, and, okay. Yes, and from there I did a tour in Iraq. And from Iraq, we my unit deactivated, and I was sent to Fort Carson, Colorado, where I finished out my tour. Onward. Again in the snow, right? Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> so we're kind of used to it already. Yes. Okay, great. And then after that, uh, well, you've been you're, you're a black belt, correct? Yes. Tell me a little bit about what the black belt consists of, and I mean, what type of uh, it, it's kung fu and some other, I, I guess. Uh, yes. The the main thing that I've been studying pretty much my entire life is, is the Kung Fu. Kung Fu, okay. And there's many different aspects of Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. um, the main one that I lean towards more is Wushu Kung Fu and Sanda Kung Fu. Sanda. Sanda, yeah, Wushu is more like the forms and the weapons and the flips and gymnastics type things with weapons in mm -hmm. your hands. Um, Sanda is more of the kickboxing aspect. Okay, so in other words, I should not be messing with you then, right? <laughs> now this guy, like I said, I met him uh, a few weeks back and uh, he made it to the order around here, but I'm real picky who I actually interview because I want to make sure that it's a good nonprofit and their mission statement is great and yours is beyond greatness, brother. I'm, I'm yeah. telling you, man, you're here for a reason. Um, okay, so it's Wushu, it's uh, 
Sanda. Sanda. And what about uh, the other? I think it was uh, Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Uh, yes. So, um, well, Wushu just got accepted into the Olympics. Really? Yes. Okay. So we and we've been uh, lobbying for that for many many years. You know, I heard about that uh, the other day. We were talking something regarding the Olympics. What do you want? What's your goal to get? to that, uh, I guess, uh, expertise in that. You were mentioning that to me uh, a couple of days ago. Yes, now that Wusha has been accepted into the Olympics, my goal is to be the first certified Olympic uh, Wushu coach here in the state of Texas. Wow. And, and my goal is to train the first uh, candidates to try out for the U.S. Olympic team. Uh, history is about to be made in 2028 here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. No one has, has a gold medal yet. Really? So whoever makes it, they're gonna be a part of history and me as being an, an instructor, I would love to be a part of that history as well too because I've given so much of my life to Wushu as well Man. As, as it is given to me. That's great because I feel the positivity right now. The, the Just the aura around you, man, it feels positive and everything that you're doing. My hat's off to you again, brother, because you're, you're, you're for greatness. You're here for greatness, brother, and that's the thing. I don't know if you see it. I'm sure you do. Yes. We were talking about that earlier as yes. well. But you have an awesome nonprofit. Uh, your background's awesome, brother. Again, you know, my hat's off to everything that you're doing. Keep on going forward. Let's go and talk a little bit before I forget here uh, regarding the nonprofit. What's your your goal and your mission here in San Antonio for the nonprofit? Our mission is to bring out martial arts into the community as an alternative to suicide, to drugs, to alcohol, mm -hmm. violence, um, the gangs, and and for our military, the PTSD. Okay. Um, so we'll be reaching out to at-risk youth, which I've worked with uh, a lot in Illinois and throughout the country, working with veterans <clears throat> with the PTSD and also with families that are victims of domestic violence. Okay, so there's not really an age bracket on this. You mean no. you're going to help out anybody that basically needs help? Yes. Okay. Because, you know, more and more, you know, there's, there, there's medicines left and right for, for all these things, but mm -hmm. you still see the pattern continuing. And I've seen the benefits of martial arts when a person really applies to them to themselves as an alternative for these things. Okay, it really does save lives in many ways. Man, I'm, I'm glad you're doing that because we all need, we need all the help we can get. Yes. You are a black belt as well. Yes, uh, explain that to us. Uh, in kung fu, it's a black sash, so it is really no stripe system for what mm -hmm. we do. It's either teacher or student. Okay. Um, in the taekwondo, I do have a fourth degree black belt. Um, I did train in Korea with the Olympic and national teams. Wow. Um, yeah, so I have my certifications from a couple of universities out there, Anyang and Kyungyi University, certified as an instructor. So um, I've been teaching for the last 20 plus years. Man, you know what? Uh, this is very interesting. I, we can go on forever and ever. My mom, my mom said that I was born talking. I don't know, so I can, I can go on forever. But just like anything else, we do have to break for commercials because without the commercial, we just don't have a show. So let's go break for commercial. We'll come back after these messages from an awesome commercial that we have. Thank you. Dogwood Home Health Care LLC. We give you peace of mind toward your loved one's home care needs. With many years of experience and a dedicated team, you can rest assured your loved ones are receiving the best possible care at home. Some of our services consist of bathing, exercising, dressing, grooming, cleaning, laundry, walking, shopping, assisted with medication, and much, much more. For more information regarding our services, go by our website at www.dogwoodhomehealth.com or call us directly at 956 580-3957 or 210-265-8911. I've been injured due to the negligence of others. I've lost a loved one due to the negligence of others. I know what it's like. I know the pain. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto accident, whether it be a car, 18-wheeler, or a company vehicle, I want to help. For over 15 years, Raul B. Rodriguez has worked hard for the people of San Antonio and Texas. I will work hard for you and do my very best to get you the justice that you and your family deserve. We won't back down. 
call 210-899-0300 to schedule a free consultation. Welcome back to the Orale Roundtable. We are talking to the one and only Mr. David Luna from 36 Chamber Wushu Kung Fu Foundation, Inc. here in San Antonio. Let's continue talking about the foundation, brother. What other uh, goals do you have for the foundation here for San Antonio? Our goal is to uh, sponsor uh, children, okay. veterans, and families to get into the training to help them learn more of how they can apply the martial arts lifestyle into their experiences. Okay. Um, I see, uh, Mr. Luna, that uh, you're basically building, everything's in the process right now. Yes. Uh, you do have a website, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you down on the OrelleOutlets.com and the OrelleNetwork.com where I basically put all the information on there. And then link, once you're ready, you know, ready to go and, and uh, rock and roll, we'll link your link from there and then head it to your, to your website because uh, you're still working on that, correct? Yes, my media uh, person is building the site. Your media putting, guru is working on it. Now. Yes, putting the content together. It's it's not overnight, brother. It takes yeah. time. Yes. Everything we everything we do from a thirty minute show, twenty minute show, it takes about what six, seven, nine, fifteen hours to get everything ready. So I understand that, and I hope the audience understand that as well. But it's coming soon in process. His new website. Uh, you do have a gym operation uh, operation right now, correct? Yes. Where are you located at? We're located at San Antonio Gymnastics Academy in Converse and. Uh, the website for there that you can find me is sagymnastics.org. Okay. And uh, we train there alongside gold medal uh, Olympians for gymnastics. So it, it seems fitting for us no, it, to be yes, there sure. yes. with what we're shooting for. Correct. And do you have a phone number to go with that? That way, if they, if they have any questions, they want information. Is there a phone number to go with that I can actually put on the bottom of the screen? Yes. 630-664-664-1872. I still okay. kept my Chicago number. That's a 630 area code, yes, right? Yes, All right, so it's 630-664-1872. That's a number directly to Mr. David Luna, which is the founder of a 36 Chamber Wushu uh, Kung Fu Foundation, Inc. Okay, anything in close you want to add to this? Because like I said, I'm going to put all that information on the orderlyoutlets.com and the orderlynetwork.com. That's, uh, man, we get viewed by a thousand, two, three, four thousand people a week sometimes, okay? So it's a pretty good audience there. But you're also going to be, this interview is going to be also on the Roku channel and soon oh, wow. to be on a good outlet and another platform that I'm going to mention to you later on once we actually have everything in place. But it's already getting there, so get ready for that. So we're going to be on Roku. Uh, Anything in closing, Mr. Luna, you want to add to this interview? Yes, that if you know anyone that might be struggling with suicide, with drugs, alcohol, PTSD, and maybe you've tried many things and you feel like it's not working, send them to me and, and let's see if maybe this can be an alternative to everything else that they've tried and, and give them one more chance at their own life. Man, I'm, I'm grateful for what you're doing. This uh, nonprofit is... is Excellent, brother, for what you're doing. Again, let me go and uh, get the number. It's going to be on the bottom of the screen, 630-664-1872. That's the founder and owner, Mr. David Luna, for 36 Chamber, Wushu Kung Fu Foundation, Inc. Again, I want to thank you for taking time off your busy schedule. I know you're busy, but you made time to come here to the station here on the Orlean Network. We're being viewed by thousands and thousands of people, man. So I hope you get the calls that you need um, to get this to the next level because it needs to be to the next level already. Uh, real quick, before we close, you're also uh, seeking, I guess, some kind of acting career or something like that. Let's go and talk about that. You were right. mentioning that earlier. I, uh, so, <laughs> I threw so, you off there, right? Yeah, but go ahead, let's yeah. talk about that. People want to know. Uh, I was introduced to some amazing people here in San Antonio because of the martial arts. Okay. They were actually looking for a... Um, Martial arts, a Hispanic Jet Li, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, uh, 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 martial arts choreographer. Right. So a lot of my students are involved in the stunt acting, mm -hmm. and through that, I was able to meet a director who has cast me for a film. Uh, it's a major role, and uh, yeah, that's basically the joke. It's like I'm gonna be the uh, Mexican Jet Li. We're um, ready for it. We yeah, are ready for yeah. it, man. So we, I, to my knowledge, there isn't a a Hispanic uh, or Mexican martial arts master that's out there in the film industry and so this director he said 
that's going to be you with this character. Man, it's awesome, brother. So, and uh, you've seen it here first on the Orderly Network, the Orderly Roundtable. King Mr. of the South is the, is the King movie. of the South. King of the South. Okay, are y'all done with that production, or is it still in the it, process? It's in the process right okay. now. Okay. Yes. Uh, how are you going to run it? Are you going to run it uh, any platforms, or is it going theatrical? You don't know yet, or is it still in the uh, process? It's in the process. Okay, yes. great. Whatever I can do to help you out, I will do it. I got some good connections here and there, man, so which you. you already know about. But uh, let's continue going for. I'm here to help you out, especially in your mission, man. Your, your nonprofit's awesome, bro. Thank it's you. A, it's a good nonprofit that I've seen so far. Uh, one of many, right? But uh, this 36 Chamber Wushu Kung Fu uh, Foundation Inc. You got to call this guy again, David Luna, the founder. At 630-664-1872. Again, my brother from another mother. I appreciate you taking time off your busy schedule, being here on the Orderly Roundtable exclusive on the Orderly Network and the Roku channel and soon to be another big platform. Wow, Again, so thank you for viewing our show. We'll see you next week on the Orderly Roundtable here on the Orderly Network.